All right, everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Albion. Finally found the cave. Um, there's a crazy, crazy chest in this cave, though. Right here. Some giant columns. Stone columns, part block of the, a part of the cave. They look porous. Between the columns, you see a passage leading around. Oh, yeah? There's chest back there. We want that. We're gonna use a pickaxe. What a blow! I think we can crawl through here if we make ourselves thin. What he means by crawl through is he means do that. <laughs> so, we got a free big sky armor. I already have one. Free big shield. I already have one. It's kinda sad. But nine blue magic potions. Holy balls. Super. This. This is the real treasure here. 22 blue healing potions. Actually, I'm gonna. You'll understand why in a minute. I've actually done this part now. Um, I am having to re record this for various reasons. A, the cutscene that's coming up is really long. So I'm going to take a break in it. And even though. Even though, I guarantee you, this, vid this video won't actually be that long because I will get a moment for a break and when I take that break I'm going to save and, and start a new video there because there's a conversation that comes up that took way longer so when the companions come out of the tunnel the tall models are cry. yes literally I had to take two steps for a cutscene to start had I taken two set steps this cutscene would have started and I wouldn't have been lost for that entire video but I didn't <laughs> look Back there flies a shuttle from the Toronto. A shuttle? The shuttle approaches. Apparently the companion has been spotted. It lands! It lands, even? A shuttle that lands? Is it here to pick us up? Well, how convenient. Why, why is Tom the only person in my party? Turning to his companions, Tom says, Come, don't be afraid. It'll be a little tight inside there, but we'll only have to be in there for a short time. Tom climbs in and notices there's no pilot. The shuttle is remote controlled. What? Suddenly the shuttle door slams shut. Tom is locked in without the companions, and the shuttle starts. During the takeoff, a gas fills the cabin. Tom loses consciousness and drops to the floor. He remembers nothing of the flight. Uh oh. Why would they be drugging him and bringing him in an automatic shuttle? Well, here we go. The Toronto, everyone. Overcome by stun gas, Tom slowly comes to. He's picked up by two security guards and taken into the Toronto. Oh boy. The gas is still taking its toll on Tom. With blurred vision and a foggy head, he sees his... Re Reception team, Captain Brandt, Christine, Joe, some crew members, as well as Ned, the AI onboard computer. Dude, it's Joe. That's not Joe. Driscoll, you're still alive. You must have gone through hell. In case you don't remember, that's the captain. Tom, you aren't dead. I sure am happy to see you. That's Joe. Tom, my god. I'm glad to see you again. How are you? What happened? And where? That's his girlfriend. That, that's not his girlfriend. The one that just talked to us. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Moki. Or Mrs. Moki. But as you can see, Mr. Driscoll's condition is very bad. He must have medical treatment immediately. So I'm going to point something out. I don't know if this is how it is in every society. But usually, Mrs. indicates that you're married. To my knowledge. If I'm wrong, then I just made a really stupid comment. She's not. At least I hope she's not, because she's his girlfriend. Tom's girlfriend. That would be weird. Either that, or a lot happened since we left. <laughs> Gas. Captain Brent. Why? The planet is... I, too, think we should bring Mr. Driscoll to the medical department immediately. It's a wonder that he survived so long in this unsafe environment. But, sir, the planet is... You must know that... The planet is full of life! I was afraid of this, 
Mr. Driscoll is hallucinating. He has to be taken to the medical station immediately. But two security yards take Tom and drag him forward. Oh, bye, Tom. Tom! Be patient for a few days, Mrs. Monkey. You will be able to visit Tom Driscoll as soon as he has recovered. Oh. The security guards are barely out of sight. Of the yeah, okay, they're barely <laughs> they're missing an of there. They're barely out of sight of the others when Tom feels a sharp pain in the neck. Injection makes everything around him turn to darkness. <laughs> Just knock him out again. Just, yeah, I don't think you need to be alive. Yeah, you don't need to be awake. Sometime later, Tom continues into a hospital. Comes to in a hospital bed. Okay. Damn my head. What was that stupid stunt all about? Have they all gotten nuts? I'm still not controlling this. He moves himself. <sighs> Door is barred. Driscoll, you're in trouble. Something is wrong here. So, this is bad. It's a cot. It's a cabinet. It's another cabinet. Monitoring body, body functions. These are useless. Another cabinet. Another cabinet. Some chairs. Can't do anything with the door. We can look at that for some reason. It's a door opener. Inside the keypad, there's a slot for inserting card cards. Oh. Let's go to the bathroom. Wash basin. Chemical toilet. Much different from their organic ones I've been used to. Nothing. Literally, you are supposed to sit here and wait. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hang out. So we can't do anything. We can try. Bash on the door! Yeah. Somebody'll come eventually, right? Right? They have to. Someone has to come. Been in here for two hours now. It goes so fast. So this is uh, actually, as I said, I told you this video is gonna be really short. I'm actually gonna cut it here. Yep, I am. I'm gonna cut it right here because the next cutscene is a very long talk. There's a lot of conversation that takes place. I didn't even get through half of it last time. Um, I did do the chest a little faster this time because I knew how to get into the chest. I, I messed around with trying to get to that chest the last time I tried to record this. So it definitely added a little bit of time, so this is a little shorter. But still, um, I'm going to cut it here because... A, you have to wait for him to show up, which, don't worry, you're not going to miss because you're waiting right now with me as I'm talking. Matter of fact, whoever, whoever this random him is that's going to show up, yes, it's not your girlfriend. She doesn't, she doesn't have the balls for that. But someone shows up. Someone shows up, and something happens, and there's a big conversation. And it takes forever. So six hours now. Six hours. I've sat here and done nothing. All right. So what happens happens, and we will weather this Toronto experience together. Because like I said, I, I know this is a long conversation. I don't want to get thrown off by it, so I'll see you then. Have a good one.